it used to be that to get your word out in the world, you had to have something worthwhile to say. Not anymore. Sam Walton Man, providing you with the biggest load of worthless junk the internet has ever seen. Hello world, Sam Walton Man here. I was thinking about doing this whole video with a Russian accent, but a pile of Russian cow manure could probably do a better Russian accent than I can. So for obvious reasons like that, and not wanting to be assassinated by KGB for stupidity, I decided against it. But if KGB really wanted to assassinate me for stupidity, it wouldn't be that hard. Oh, back to business. Christmas break is all well and good. It's full of laughter, fun, and games. As great as Christmas break was, we're all back to school now. It's almost February, and I'm sure most of you are experiencing severe depression from lack of comic relief. That's where I come in. You're welcome. Anyway, so Sam Walton Man Studios has been hard at work making a very suspenseful game, a fun one too. If you aren't sure how Russian Roulette works, here are the rules. You take a revolver, usually a six shot, and load one bullet into it. Then you and your enemies, usually your enemies, take turns giving the revolver cylinder a spin, pulling back the hammer, pointing the gun to your head, and pulling the trigger. There's a one in six chance you'll blow your head off. But the odds are in your favor. You repeat the process until everyone has blown their own heads off, except for one person who can go do whatever they want, and nobody cares because all the people who would normally care are now dead. I think that sounds like a blast. Heh, <laughs> get it? In any case, too many people have died playing this lovely game. So here at Sam Walton Man Studios, we have been hard at work, making, for the preservation of life, the Russian Roulette Robot. As you can see, the gun itself doesn't look very realistic. I designed it that way because I didn't want the government to get all over me and make me put an orange tip on it or something. Well, mainly I designed it like this because I was lazy and didn't want to put too much time into the design. But that's beside the point. Hold on, my phone's buzzing. What? Oh great, it's you again. What the heck do you want this time? Wait. You're kidding, right? Oh my gosh, you guys are so retarded! Fine. Yes. Yes, I'll do it. Would you like to hear my golem voice? You wouldn't? Oh well. Go away and never come back! Eat that, suckers. To get this wonderful invention patented, it has to have an orange tip. Hold on. There. Is that better, you government brats? Okay, so this is very simple. You turn on the robot. Every time I pull the trigger, there's a one in six chance the gun will go off. And this is the beauty of it. Going off just means the robot makes a sound. How awesome is that? You can now play Russian Roulette without having to deal with dead bodies or blood on the walls. You may have to deal with those things in the event that someone gets really ticked off that they lost and pulls out a real gun and starts blowing everybody else away. That's actually the nice thing about the original version. The losers can't complain. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the utter harmlessness of my invention by playing Russian Roulette. Okay, here we go. Now, if it shoots me, it'll make this like... <laughs> laser zapping cool sound and if I live it'll make this click you know okay so I'm gonna hold the speaker up just so you can hear what happens what the first time that's horrible it's just not right talk about beginners luck died on the first round okay okay let's try this again oh my goodness two times in a row Man, am I glad I didn't play the real thing earlier. Okay, we're gonna do this a couple more times. Ah! Come on! Oh my goodness, what is that six times in a row? What are the chances that that would happen? Let's try this again. No! Cut it out! This thing is killing me. Get it? 
It's killing me.